All right, good evening. Uh, it's March 2nd. This is the uh, advisory committee meeting. And um, let's see, why don't we go around, we'll do quick introductions. And uh, we have a, a short agenda tonight. This is more of a organization for the upcoming meetings for leading up to town meeting. But uh, a quick introduction of the members here tonight. I'm Arthur Franzak. Uh, Dave Benton. Harley Sterling. Jim Tavashevsky. Sue Jacobson. All right. And we have some distinguished guests. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to help us get through. That's right. So uh, mostly what I was hoping to get accomplished tonight was uh, kind of a general sense of the warrant. And uh, I know that's not quite ready, but, um, but just to give a little preview, it seems like primarily we'll be focused on uh, monetary items, uh, budget, capital, and if CPC has any uh, articles beyond the standard. That seems to be the bulk of the, of the potential warrant articles at this point. Uh, but that'll get finalized over the next uh, week or so at the selectmen's meeting. So. Uh, so in terms, so relative to that, what I was hoping to do was potentially, uh, Jack, if you had, uh, Jack Hathaway, our town administrator. Jack, if you had, uh, I know you've got a handout with a, a little info on uh, on some of the revenues uh, for the town, especially, I think you had, uh, this is the one you showed at the selectmen's meeting, right? Yes. Yes. Um, and then if you had a general sense on um, broadly what your thinking is there, you know, in terms of, I would assume, you know, new growth and the two and a half increase will be the bulk of what we have for additional funds beyond the budget from last year. Um, and if, if you had any sense on, you know, roughly what that might be heading towards or if it's still too early, that's fine. Uh, sure. Um, so if I can, I, Julie McCarthy yes. uh, is with us tonight and Julie uh, has been to Selectman's Mean, so people may be familiar with her, but Julie is our new town accountant who also has the title of finance director, so she oversees all of the financial components of the town, um, including treasury assessors and accounting. Um, so Julie is, uh, and, and I have been working together. Um, I'm very happy to have Julie on board. She comes with a wealth of experience from uh, Linfield and, and other uh, experiences, but I think most of her municipal experiences with Linfield. Um, and, you know, as I said, I'm very excited to have Julie um, part of the budget process and, and here with us in Norfolk. So I'll let her speak uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes. I was going to talk uh, just about the state aid, uh, kind of give you a history of the cherry sheets. Uh, it takes a couple minutes. Uh, yep. Julie does, has done some early calculations on uh, Prop 2.5 increase and new growth, um, and as well as uh, Maybe a little commentary on, on local receipts, um, but we're still finalizing some of those. So. Okay. That's what we have for tonight. So, if I can, I'll show you my, uh, if I can get it up on the, and I can't. <coughs> okay, so. I'm going to go through all the different components. There are six different slides here, all the different components of local aid. Uh, the, the biggest, obviously, is education aid. That's the Chapter 70 money. You can see in 2009, we, we peaked at $3.5 million. Um, we had a lot of growth uh, in the, during the early parts of 2000. And then, as we all know, the, the kind of the wheels came off the, the train and uh, we dropped. Uh, you'll see this trend in, in all of our different types of aid, but we dropped in 2009 and, we, and we're, we're heading back up towards that aid that we received in 2009, but we are still, even in just real dollars, um, back to where we were uh, 10 years ago. Um, today we're receiving, it's $50 per student of additional aid per year, uh, so they just, and that's just for the this is just uh, the Norfolk aid, so this is separate from King Philip, so this is for the elementary school. And uh, you'll see that, uh, we're, so we're receiving about $10,000 in additional aid this year than we did in 2016. And that's lower than the growth from the previous two years, right? Yeah, well, I think our population, our, our, our elementary school population has been declining. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it, 
Has it always, Jack, been a, um, a, a dollar per student approach? No. Or Okay, they switched. Just since about. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately for us, right, as our yeah. population uh, yeah. was dropping, yeah. they switched to per person, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so really, they're, we're, they're still in that process of trying to get everybody at the, uh, the net school spending um, or the foundation mm -hmm. uh, level for state aid. So some, some towns are still getting bumps up. Um, you know, and it's all based on income levels, and, and it's it's that tremendous uh, calculation that the Chapter 70 folks do that, based on property values and average income, et cetera. And so, we're going to get the minimum for probably some time now. Unrestricted unrestricted general aid, government aid is the uh, used to be called the lottery aid. Uh, so again, we peaked in the 2009 and 10 uh, time frame. We started $900,000. We crept up to the $1.1 million, and then uh, then they started uh, reallocating some of that lottery aid, and they renamed it to be just general government aid, so it wouldn't be politically tied into the lottery aid quite so much anymore. Uh, we've seen a slow rise in that number, but uh, again, uh, you know, not not even back to where we were, just just barely back to where we were in 2001 at this point. I wish I could put up some demographics up here and I could, I could zoom in on some, oh, yeah. know, some counties and stuff. That would be fun. Uh, <laughs> the police career incentive, uh, commonly known as the Quinn Bill, has uh, back in early part of Governor Patrick's uh, tenure, we, they, uh, the state opted out of uh, the Quinn Bill. So we used to, so for every police officer, and this goes back, uh, I'm not sure if it's in the 90s or the 80s, when the town, town uh, took part in the Quinn Bill. So we had, uh, in our union contract, we had um, agreed to pay every police officer uh, a percentage on top of their base pay for uh, an associate's degree, a master's degree, a master's degree or um, a bachelor's degree, um, the different percentages. And then the state agreed to, on a one-year lag, to reimburse us for half of that money. So, you know, you can see at, uh, so we were paying about $130,000 in 2009 and, uh, and the state would reimburse us $65,000 um, and then they cut their, their uh, contribution. Um, we had in our contracts embedded that we, so we are continuing to fully fund that. Um, we have made, we have negotiated that out of the contract uh, since that time. Although um, we're having discussions about kind of putting a, a, uh, a similar version in, just so we, we still think it's important for police officers to have uh, degrees, so we still have an incentive in there, but it's, uh, but it's different than the, it, it, the components of that will be a little bit different than the old Quinn Bill. The pilot money um, on the cherry sheet, and this is the payment in lieu of taxes. Uh, so state-owned land in town, the state does obviously not well, probably, maybe not obviously, but the state does not pay taxes to the, to the town of Norfolk. In, in lieu of that, they, um, they pay us pilot money. So, uh, and so a, a big chunk of that is obviously the prison money. Um, and again, uh, you can see the same graph. Uh, we peaked in 2009 at $238,000, and then they uh, conveniently kind of revalued our, our property. Um, we're working with our, our assessor has had some luck this year, so we think in going out into 2018 or so, we'll see that number come back up because we've made a case to, that, that this new assessment on our property is too low. Um, but uh, that'll take a little bit of time. It's got to take one more year to catch up on that, uh, on that assessment. That hasn't helped. So this is the combination of all these components that I just showed you. Obviously, you, you can still see the same graph. We, we started at $4 million in 2001. We peaked at $5 million in 2009. And uh, then we dropped back down to 4.1. And we've risen back up to $4.5 million. I'm not taking any, you know, I'm not making any adjustments for inflation or anything like that. These are just, you know, real dollars that, uh, of aid that we're receiving. And for 17, Jack, your number, is that the governor's proposal? Yeah, this is the governor's proposal. So we haven't, uh, although I think the House and Senate are pretty much Pretty close, board. yeah. Uh, 
and then the last one is, is outside of that number that I just showed you is the prison mitigation funds because we, do, we don't put this directly into the budget, at least uh, not usually. Um, Arlie, I'm sure, will remember we did at some point back in this, uh, this era, one year. Um, but the prison mitigation money is, all, is obviously based on its, its money that is paid to the town because we provide services to the prison, mostly uh, from the fire department. Uh, we go down there and respond to fire alarms. Uh, we, we go down there and we provide uh, ambulance services. Uh, we transport to Norwood. We do get paid for if, if we transport somebody, and we get a much better uh, dollar amount than we used to. Um, and now that we expect that number to be about $340,000 for ambulance revenues. Uh, that's, that's serving all the town, not just the, the prisons. Um, but you can see, as, as you folks all know, that this money has been, you know, we've had the, the problem we've had for, from a budgeting point of view is just the inconsistency. Because it's been in the, the governor's budget and the adopted budget almost every single year. Um, but when, when the budgets have been tight at the state level, they, the governor has the authority to to, uh, without legislative approval, to, to cut that number um, because it's part of the executive branch's part of the budget. They've been able to cut that out of the prison's budget and, uh, and, and not send that to us. Um, we were very, in 2014, we actually, re they paid us late for 2013, so that's why we got that double payment in 2014. That was, that was very nice. Uh, and then we just received this money uh, within the last month for the 268000 do we still try to use this strictly for capital, Jack, or? I would, I would hope so. And, uh, and the rules have gotten a little tighter, and, and, and we're following the rules better than maybe we did back in the old days. The, the process, unfortunately, that we have to go through now is that we have to collect this money in a fiscal year, um, and we can't reappropriate that uh, in the same fiscal year. We have to have it go through the, f the free cash process. Oh, okay. um, sorry. We have to have that go through the free cash process. Huh. So that 268000 um, we'll need we will be able to use at the fall town meeting. At, that will be the earliest time we'll be able to use that, okay. that amount. So it's always going to lag a year then? Yep. Um, That's new this year? No. It's an old rule. Just uh, uh, Yeah, I remember in 14 yeah. you had that issue and we had to wait. Until yeah. you were certified before the the big chunk was available. Yeah, it's it's kind of one of those old do, don't ask, don't tell rules. And finally, we started asking questions, and Julie knows the rules better than I do, and so you know, she confirmed that uh, we really to for the proper UMIS accounting, um, we need to have that go through the free cash process. Uh, Good news is we have five hundred thousand dollars about uh, still in free cash. Yes, five hundred ninety-eight thousand. Five hundred ninety-eight thousand. So this, so we, so we, we do have some funds available other than this two sixty-eight. So this will be in next year's free cash. Yep. Any questions on that? That part. I'm, I'm and back. do you have zero for seventeen, Jack? Because we're not expecting any, or we're just not sure at this point. So I just don't know yet. I, I suspect it'll be a similar number. It's because okay. it's based on. Uh, uh, number of beds, et cetera. Yeah. Um, so, I, so I do suspect that it will be right. similar. I'd so barring budget cuts, it theoretically should be a similar number. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Um, so I'll turn over to Although the theoretically it's really, <laughs> you can think of it more as like an 18 uh, number. Yes. All right. So you do have, so there is going to be a little money for capital. We might have to spread it between the, break it up between the spring and the fall. Um, how about our, well, our other free cash uh, user, uh, Snow and Ice, how, yeah. are, how are we doing on that one this uh, year? Currently, uh, it's probably in, it's in a deficit of about um, 80,000, so oh, I'm not, not sure. That would be a how many? Oh, that's a that would be a record. A record. Uh, you know, I can that would be a record low for us. Yeah. Yes. I believe they've paid uh, most of the subcontractors. Okay. So, yeah. you know, so, right. uh, quite yeah. a decrease over last year. Yes. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would be nice if yes. no, we be. get through through March without right. any snow. <laughs> right. Yes. All right. So I just wanted to talk about a. You want to sit up? I don't know if you want to sit up there because you got the papers. Yeah, it might be easy. Yes. Never really heckle anybody. 
audience. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. I'm Julie McCarthy, the new finance director. Um, I just wanted to talk to uh, about a couple of the uh, the revenues for FY17. Uh, the two and a half percent increase is going to be six hundred and fifty-five thousand. Uh, that's uh, calculated off of. Uh, Last year's uh, levy of uh, 26 million 232. Um, we also um, the new growth. Uh, last year's final new growth was a pretty much an all-time high of over 690 thousand. Wow. Um, after speaking with Lorraine Fields, our assessor, she said that we've uh, completed some major projects that were. In the, that new growth, um, Pondville Medical, Pulte Homes, and a solar project. So I think that's going to be a bit lower. I don't know if it's going to be maybe between four or five hundred thousand. We need to discuss that further with her and also speak with um, Bob Bullock, the building commissioner. Um, I think there's a lot of new single residents. We're seeing a lot of. Uh, Revenues from building permits and yep. uh, in all types of permits. Um, I've looked at the revenues for this year, and um, they've well exceeded the budget that we have. Okay. So I think we have to take that into consideration before we kind of come up with a real, real good um, estimate for yep. s for 17. And um, as far as local receipts, probably the 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 areas that look to be uh, the strongest with growth is. The meals tax uh, seems to be continuously growing, not by large amounts, but I think that may go up about $10,000 or so. And also the uh, motor vehicle commitments. Hmm. Uh, we just got a commitment, um, the large motor vehicle commitment, it was over 210000 higher than last year. So hmm. if people keep buying the new cars into 17, I think, you know that's probably that's our biggest piece in in the uh, the local receipts, and and also uh, the bu the building permits um, yep. is really the area of growth. A lot of the other components, I'd say, are are, are pretty flat at yep. the, at this time. I'm not sure if we're going to uh, review any uh, fees for next year. Uh, Jack mentioned uh, the building, mm -hmm. so. When I know more of that information, maybe we can we can base some of the estimates okay. based on uh, any uh, you know yeah. increases in in fees right. uh, going forward. Um, but I, I don't see a huge increase in the lo in the local receipts. Yeah. Um, the the uh, ambulance is also a, a pretty good component. Uh, last year we were able to use a little extra revenue because we had some built up in the mm -hmm. fund and we kind we really needed to, but. It's probably more around 350 to 375 thousand. And last year, I think we had 430. Okay. Uh, so that would be pretty typical of, of yeah. the annual revenue stream of the for the ambulance. Right. Julie, the, the mill tax—that's uh, the tax that the town passed what three or four years ago? At least that, maybe least longer. Yes, maybe that's longer? the yeah. uh, point seven point five. So yeah. we pay six and a quarter over to the state. Mm -hmm. Well, we really the seven percent goes to them, and then they pay us back quarterly the point seven five. And what is the total now in the? Um, it is about thirty thirty three thousand we've received through January, I believe. Yes, I I have a budget of sixty thousand, and we've received we've received thirty three. So I I, I can see us um, collecting probably up to seventy thousand dollars. So, uh, in last year it was, you know, it was a, I think it was close to sixty thousand. So, okay. yeah, you know, Silla's yeah. adding to that as well as Subway and the second Dunkin' Donuts. Right. Uh, so those right. are the new vendors this year. Huh. We're still hoping that. Uh, up at Village of Rivers Edge to open up a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I know there, uh, there are no plans yet. Um, he's still trying to find a, a restaurant uh, proprietor. Uh, he does have like a juice bar that's going to open up, so that'll be some revenue. Yep. Uh, there is going to be another uh, food mart type store up there as well with a liquor license, so us folks on the north side of town will be able to travel <laughs> a little shorter for to get our. To get our <laughs> Provisions. It's a nice building. I mean, the building looks great. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a nice job. And also a, a new revenue stream, I believe, maybe it wouldn't go into effect until 18 would be the rental revenue from the dispatch right. center. Is that yeah. going to be around 50000 mm -hmm. So yeah. So that will be something we can add into our local receipts for next, next year. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, so it probably feels maybe a million, a million two type of number, an increase in revenue from the prior year in terms of what's what's available if you assume we had yeah, the same the, budget. Yeah. I mean the, 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 the net increase on the from the local aid is like forty yes, two, forty yeah, six thousand. Yeah. It's maybe a little more once yeah. you, know, you add up all the pieces, but in that yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what the big pieces there were the um, the new growth. I guess you were saying three fifty four hundred is what you yeah maybe a little bit more, and then then it was about three hundred on the two and a half. No six fifty six fifty five. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it could be four to five hundred thousand maybe on the new growth. New growth. Yeah. And it was six ninety last year, so right. that's going to be down. Yeah. Okay. From All from right. what we're hearing. All right. All right. How much is that the Pondville medical thing worth? How much revenue do we get off that? Um, you know? I think it. Uh, Lorraine feels indicated about three million. Is the assessed value? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, it's about fifty something. Seventeen dollars times three thousand, whatever. I know. Fifty-one. Yeah. Yeah. It's about fifty-two thousand in yeah. new growth. Yeah. There's a lot of growth going on down at Shire Park. Yeah. Uh, there's a nice. Uh, Island Electric is building a, a pretty big complex. Uh, I'm not sure what the value of the property is, but it's but it's a, a big big piece of property. I think you'll see the uh, condominiums down by the old town hall start up this summer. Uh, it's a 40B project, but mm -hmm. uh, some some uh, market side of the property is uh, supposed to be six hundred thousand dollar units. There's about four. Well, there's about thirty of those, and then ten affordable yeah, the units. 20 units going up at the top of the hill there. Yep, 20 more units going at the yeah. extension of the uh, town center. So that'll be good. James. Yep. All right. All right. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks very much. That's a good good preview to help us kind of think through as as we now will, you know, as the uh, expense side will start right. uh, coming through <laughs> over the next uh, few weeks. Um, and that's probably the last topic I have for tonight is really just trying to figure out what's the best schedule for uh, getting uh, having everyone come in um, so you know we posted for the next whatever six uh, Wednesdays I'm not sure we're going to need all that given that we've probably just got uh, three or four groups to to uh, to have come in um, did you have any sense Jack on when you and Julie which group you know the timing of uh, I mean I think the fire chief is ready um, Bob McGee probably could be two weeks or any time after that. Yeah. Uh, the police chief is going to be out for a while, so I'm going to do his. I, I think his budget is just about uh, ready. Okay. Um, so he could. We could probably talk about that next week yep. if you wanted. Yep. Um, you know, I know the elementary school has a draft budget. I'm not yep. sure if they're ready yet. Right. You know. Uh, KP had their uh, hearing Monday. I, I went to that, and uh, so they've got their first pass, and now you know, start working through uh, um, what they've got. So I would anticipate them. I, I spoke with them after probably like the later meeting in March. Okay. Whatever is our what's the last one? The thirtieth? Maybe yeah. we, we shoot for KP on the thirtieth. Sure. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I'm debating on should we skip next Wednesday and then on the 16th do fire police DPW do you want to do uh, we could probably yep. we could do those three so we, if we do those on the 16th and then on the 23rd we could do um, well, well you, the last couple of years we've done the schools both on the same yeah, night. So right. why, don't, why don't we shoot for them, both of, both of the schools on the 30th? No, you get like um, uh, the Tri-County and those also, or you get those late? We haven't, no, we haven't uh, had them in in 
quite no, a no, while. But, yeah. but we have their budgets at least to look at. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the 23rd, let's leave open at the moment. Um, I mean, I think primarily that would... Right. Yes. I'm thinking potentially we could tentatively try CPC on the 23rd. Okay. And you want to try and do the rest of town government and everything on that one, Jack? Unless you think you want to do all you you want to do all four in one night. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, DPW, fire, police, and town, general government on the 16th if that's think, you want to break it up I think we'd rather do the 23rd because yeah that's fine we'll a little more time. yeah why don't why don't we do okay so we got fire police and DPW on the 16th Correct. we'll do CPC and general government on the 23rd okay and then we'll do so elementary and KP on the 30th okay and skip next week okay. and we're gonna skip the 9th yeah we'll cancel the 9th so the, I, on the, just on the police, I'm gonna, so I'm going to send you the police ahead of time. Yep. Uh, and then if you have any questions, you want to send them to me. That would be great. If I if I need to bring the deputy chief in, I will. But I but I think it's going to be a pretty vanilla uh, budget for them. So yeah, I, um, think I don't think we'll need. To, I can probably answer the questions for you. Um, chief Stone's having hip surgery, so he's going to be out for right. six weeks or so. Hmm. Was there going to be capital? And, and we do have some capital items that we could probably do on the 23rd as well. And we'll do capital on the 23rd. That'll be good. Excellent. And then that would leave us probably on the, uh, it's the first one in April there. Second. Uh, the six? Is it six, seven? Six. On uh, April 6th, we could do that for a wrap up. Yep. Um, and a sign. Assign the the articles and okay. everything, and then we'll it'll be a little bit. The twenty third is going to be a little bit difficult uh, for me. All right, that one's all right, Arlie. You're, and you're definitely out on the sixteenth. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll leave the six for wrap-up article, and then if other, if some other issues come up on the warrant last uh, minute, we can yeah, schedule I mean, those towards the end. We'll probably still be balancing the budget. So well, and, that'll be the and we'll probably budget. do a right budget wrap-up, bring it all together, see where we're at, see what. Uh, see if Julie's got it done by then. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, budget overall. All right. Yeah, will the six work, or do you, we need to go to the thirteenth on that one? I'd probably like to save some time if we could, so six would be better if we can shoot for that. Shoot for, for six, yeah. we'll shoot for the six, and because uh, the thirteenth I think would be our last possible meeting, right? Right. Assuming to hit the printing right, deadline. Right. Thirteenth. Yep. yep. All right. Everybody kind of have to have everything in the next day. Yeah. So Town meeting is what date? Town May meeting 10th. is the tenth. Tenth. May tenth. Yeah. All right. I can't think of anything else in the uh, we typically uh, nope. groups or anything. I think we've got everyone covered, and we certainly have space if we right. need to, to throw some people in. Yes, if, if we need, need to, to add some uh, add some in. Um, all right. Were there any surprises out of the school? Anything? Um. Not really surprises. Well, actually, I will say one surprise, and I'm curious if, if we have the same issue in the town. Uh, th their health care rate went up tremendously, like 14%. I was curious if, uh, if we're experiencing a similar uh, percent increase in, that we're expecting in town as well. Yes, yeah, which is interesting because the last couple of years there's actually, you know, some, well, KP had some really decent uh, ones and um, but even I, I think the town ones right we were down in the five or six percent I seen yeah we've had some twos and fives yeah and seven yeah it was eight. definitely single digits uh, yeah so don't they use you know, 15 four or five years ago Our no I actually it's actually uh, yes Our experience has not been good. That, uh, that was the same thing um, 
Paul Schaefer was saying. Yeah, uh, and the last couple of years, MIA, uh, MIA, MIA, MIA <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip, they, they have been subsidizing it, and this year they're not in a position to do that. So uh, it's not, so you said experience, Jim. That's not experience of? Our health experience. Our, health experience, oh, our claims. They're, 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 they're above the average. The ranges, I think, increased were from 4 to 14 percent within the conglomerate, and we're 10-2, I think, Jack? 10-2 or 10-3? Yeah. 10-5. So. So, so my suspicion, you know, health care is going to be a bit of a health care uh, insurance yeah. is going to be a big number for, for the budgets across the, so. Yeah. Our, and, our, um, and our pension number is up. Significantly, yep. yeah. Even above the the, because we had a large increase last year, and, and yeah. then a second increase. Yes. Okay. Good news is Tri County's down a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just because so. we lost population. Right. Population. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, any uh, other questions or? Uh, I think I think we got a good uh, plan of attack here. And uh, any any other comments or questions or anything? Jeff, nothing all set. Jack. Uh -huh. or, uh -huh. Yep. All right. So uh, I guess I do have one question. Yes. Is, there, is there anything any action on the noise uh, ordinance that was up a couple of uh, 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 planners working on a. He's working on some stuff with our, our town council. I don't think we're going to have anything for the Springtown meeting, but we'll we'll see. Um, you know, we've done one of the one of the things we've learned is, is through the state and through other towns that have more experience with this is uh, gunshots are not something that uh, DP and other people don't don't regulate. Mm. Huh. So uh, I'm not sure we're going to find a happy solution here for some of the neighbors in this case, um, but we'll. See. Is this the issue over on Seekonk? Yeah. yeah, I've been getting some calls about that. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I think that is, uh, I think that's actually it. Take a, a motion to adjourn. Yeah, adjourn. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All set. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. This is a